Welcome to this week's episode of Where To We Log, where we are at the spectacular Jardin at 527 West 27th Street. We're gonna head upstairs and Lee Wall says that he has a pretty spectacular apartment to show us. And I also can't wait to hear all about this building. It's, I'm told, a perfect match of city and home feeling. I'm Erin Wheelock from the Wheelock team, and we help people from all over the world to relocate here to New York City. So if you have any needs, please feel free to let us know. But for now, let's head upstairs. I'm really excited. I'm here with Lee Wall from Douglas Elliman today, and we are at the Jardim. Jardim. Right. Jardim. Yep. I'm so excited. Yep. What can you tell us about the building? Uh, the building is amazing. Uh, first of all, it's designed by a famous architect, Brazilian architect Issei Weinfeld. This is his first residential project in New York City. He's known for his amazing projects around the world, restaurants and, and art exhibits. Um, so we're super excited about this. Um, Issei brings a special touch of outdoor living to indoor living the warmth of outside to the coldness concrete of New York City and really meshes the two together. Um, yes, and I have to say, especially for people that are moving here from somewhere else, having that mixture of like green and warmth, because I know I for sure feel a lot of warmth and just hominess inside yeah. this unit. It can be really nice for people that aren't used to the, as you said, cold concrete, all glass, windows, you're spying on everyone, they're spying on you when you yeah. move to the city. So this is a great option. Yeah, you'll notice a lot of honey-hued colors throughout, which really bring the warmth into the project, as well as these big open glass sliding doors that, that bring the outside in to the apartment. Yeah, it's like a lot of Juliet balconies. It's very European to me, uh, which I guess goes along with the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And it's yep. small. It's 36, 36 units. Awesome. Um, two different towers. You have a north tower and a south tower. South tower, full floor residences. Your elevator, you have a private elevator that opens right up into your residence. And then you have 27 units on the, in the north tower. And there's not one apartment that is the same as the other. Issei wanted to make sure you had your own custom apartment. So there's a little bit something different in every single apartment throughout the, comp the, the project. Well, that, I mean, it sounds very exciting, but yeah. it also sounds like a comping nightmare for the future. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. That's great, though. Yeah. Um, and how big is this unit? So this unit is approximately 1,600 square feet, two bedrooms, two and a half baths. Mm -hmm. And just to note, every single half bath in the entire project, there's no light. ESA is expecting you to hang your own light. So again, it's custom to your taste. That is great. Yeah. And we're in West Chelsea, Correct. right? What do you like best about West Chelsea? Well, there's, there's so much to like about West Chelsea. You've got all of the art galleries mm -hmm. around here. It's, it's really amazing. You just walk downstairs and there's art galleries galore. You're within walking distance to Hudson Yards, which mm -hmm. as you know now, Hudson Yards has an amazing mall. There's amazing restaurants. There's just a lot going on. There are amazing gyms, Equinox Gym. Um, and then you're also within walking distance down to the West Village. Um, so it's just an amazing location. Uh, if you need to get in and out of the city, you can just jump on the highway right here because we're all the way mm -hmm. west and, and get out of the city if you need to. Yeah, or if you want to save time, there's a helipad so you can get out to JFK or the Hamptons yeah. much quicker yeah, yeah, than sitting sure. in traffic. <laughs> yeah, I love sure. it. Yeah. yeah, well great, can you take me on a tour? Of course, let's go. Fabulous. All right, so the kitchen, tell me all about it. So the kitchen's amazing. So first of all, you've got an amazing Gagano appliance packages. Um, so it's very high end, um, you know, a Gagano microwave, stove, you know, five burner stove. You've got a wine cooler, double wide fridge. Um, all the cabinetry in here is Maltini. Um, you've got a Maltini uh, backsplash and countertop satin finished. It's, it's just an amazing kitchen. Uh, all the kitchens are amazing in this whole project, but it's, you know, it's a galley kitchen that you walk through and it's amazing space. It's the best you can get. Yeah, it so. is. It's really great space. It looks like you could actually cook here. There's enough room to chop away and, and then you're right off of the dining room. So you yeah. can make a fabulous meal and then entertain and still stay in the conversation because it's still so open with these two entrances. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like you would love being in here. You know? I love being in here. Yeah, it's really nice. You I know? know? Yeah, it's nice. I love it. The living room? So obviously you have space here for a dining room table. So this unit is practically brand new. Mm -hmm. It's the, the owner bought it from the sponsor, stayed here less than a week, fully furnished it, left and went back to Europe and said, Lee, sell it with everything in it. I'm not coming back. 
So with that, the dining room, a light has not even been hung in the dining room. Mm -hmm. As you'll notice in some of the bedrooms too, the two bedrooms. Um, so this is practically, it's a brand new unit. Yeah. You know, that's fully furnished. It looks like it. Yeah, it's the, you know, it's, it's beautiful. So you've got your, your dining space here, your nice big living room here. But what I always like to point out, so you have a big sliding glass window door there, as well as here and how that works. It opens all the way up. You can do the same with the other one. So when you walk in, you just, you've got the outdoor inside. Yeah, this is really nice. It's pretty amazing. Great for airflow too. Plus, I, I personally did not expect that to happen with these big wi windows. I did not realize they were gonna open as a door. So this yeah. is really cool. It's incredible. They just hide right into the, into the wall. Yeah. Um, they're also, the windows are uh, acoustic proof as well as uh, they keep the temperature controlled. So the heat doesn't come in, the cold doesn't come in. They're really thick. So it's, it's pretty amazing. So I love the fact that you have this huge open concept though, yeah. right from the entrance. A couple of things I, I do want to point out from Issei's vision. Um, you've got floating walls throughout the entire apartment, which is generally what you see in museums. So that's just a nice little special touch. Uh, another thing too, I'm just going to slide right over here. All of your light switches are all down at hand level, which is a nice little touch because Issei didn't want anything interrupting your eye vision, your, the line side of your eye, your eyesight. So that's a special little touch there, the floating walls and the, the light switches down at hand level. And the, hot, uh, the high ceilings. I feel Correct. like this is a really good height. Yeah, they're about 12 feet. Uh, generally within the project, they're between 12 and 13 feet, but the volume in, in this apartment is amazing. You get a lot of space. You don't feel cramped. Mm -hmm. You've got these really high ceilings. Uh, it's, it's just an amazing space. And it's hard to not feel cramped in New York. Yeah. Even when you're in like a 16, 1700 square foot apartment, usually you still feel cramped because of the ceiling height and how they like chop up the apartment. Yeah. So yeah. this does feel really nice. It's a yeah, great- This apartment flows really well. Yeah. You know, and then when, even when you have the, the windows open, the sliding glass windows, like it's even more, mm -hmm. you know, so you can add more volume. So okay. it's pretty amazing, yeah. All right, on to the bedrooms. All right. Bedroom number one. All right, right, so this is the second bedroom. Uh, you get a huge amount of closet space here. So all of this is closets. Uh, this is the bathroom here. We call it the wet room because you can actually close off the shower, get a little crazy in there with the shower, um, but it'll keep the, the water on one side of the bath. Um, you've got the floating uh, toilet, just, just amazing spaces. Everything's just beautifully done, really beautiful. And then again in here, so they currently have this set up as an office area, but this obviously would be your second bedroom. You hang a light up here. There's space on the sides to put sconces uh, by your bed for reading lights. And then again, this particular bedroom has a balcony, which is a great space. I would outfit the balcony with a table, chair, some planters, but also if you can come out here, you can see the High Line is right here, You're right on the High Line. Okay. In here, you have a double wide washer and dryer in here, closet space. And then this is your primary bedroom and the primary bath, which is ridiculous. I think it's, it's really pretty. It's so amazing. So come on I in like and take it a look. Lot. Here, you've got tons of storage throughout. You have two sinks. You've got heated floors. I mean, this is just luxurious. Separate tub, separate shower that you can step into. I like the brass detailing on the shower. Also, I have to say, if you ever like put me in a room with these finishes together and was like, this is gonna look good, I'd be like, no, it won't, but it does. It's, it's really beautiful. Yeah. You've got the towel rack. I mean, this is a luxurious bath yeah. here. You know? Yeah. You've got a nice big walk-in closet. And then this is your primary <laughs> bedroom here. One beautiful touch here, which, as you know, the, no one's been living here. But again, this opens all the way up. Now just imagine this with beautiful flowers in the spring or plants, and you're laying in bed, and you've got this garden flowing into the bed with these nice, beautiful smells. I mean, that's amazing. It's, yeah. 
It's very special. So special, yeah. And it just feels so homey. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just amazing. And you can tell how, um, how quiet these windows keep it in here. Because it's New York, there's always gonna be noise outside. We'll never get away from it. Um, so that's really nice. It is extremely quiet in here. Yeah. Well, I'm staying. It's official. All right, what about the amenities? The amenities are amazing. So Issei built the amenities basically for 100 units, but there's only 36 in this project. So there's lots of space. So downstairs you have an indoor swimming pool. Ooh. You have a children's playroom. You've got a, a gym outfitted with techno gym equipment, which is very high end. You've got a studio. You've got your own massage room. So if you don't want to bring your masseuse to your apartment, you've got a dedicated massage room downstairs. Then you have separate men's and women's locker rooms. So it's not just a small bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's a changing room, a bathroom, bathroom, a shower. Then you have steam and sauna. So they're large, right? Also, there, there is storage that's a separate fee downstairs if any is available. There's also a kitchenette downstairs in case you wanted to have an event downstairs. Staff doesn't have to run up and down to your apartment. They can do everything downstairs. Uh, there's also a little landing library reading area as well. Oh, that's why so cute. So, yeah, there's also, there is parking in the building. Mm -hmm. That's a separate fee and it's the automated uh, parking garage. So you okay. have a, your own little robot that goes and picks up your car, brings it. It's all, you know, designed through the app. Mm -hmm. So you can just, hey, go grab my car, you know, and it'll be ready for you when you go downstairs. It's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. It's amazing. That is really yeah. nice. Yeah. So basically what I'm hearing is you don't ever have to leave. So if you, you know, and this is what, 3.6 million? It's, it's currently asking 3.6 right now. Yeah. So that's amazing. So you yeah. can have your bedroom, you can have your work from home room if that's what you do, and then you never have to leave because you have everything that yeah, you everything. need inside yeah. of this building. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Lee, thank you so much of for this course. tour. Honestly, yes. I really appreciate all of this. Um, I think now there's only one thing for you to leave so I can stay here. Uh, so just through this door. Just do me a favor, lock up. <laughs> okay. Thanks. All right. nice yes. to see you. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, definitely. Wow. Okay. First and foremost, I'm actually really mad because he came back in and made me get back the apartment. Who would have thought? <laughs> anyway, that is such a fantastic apartment. And if you want a tour of it, I'm sure that Lee would be more than happy to take us around before somebody else snatches it up. And if you're looking for something else, feel free to let us know. Also, you can check out our Hudson Yards episode, which has a great mix of the area that you're not seeing today. So check it out. Aaron Wheelock with the Wheelock team. Be sure to like, subscribe, share it with a friend, whatever it is that you want to do. And we will see you next week for another Where To. Bye, guys.